Hi there stranger and glory to Ukraine. Let's cover how to beat the Black Hornet in small and survive the wilds quickly and easily. The Black Hornet is the third boss in the game that players will encounter. The boss resides on the roof of a small building slightly north of the NPC Knox dwelling. Around the building, there are several hornets and gray flies, so be careful. Knock herself gives out the quest to kill the Black Hornet. To complete it, you must bring her sapphire wings, which drop from the boss. This item will be needed for crafting in the future. Although the Black Hornet was designed to be an even more challenging boss than the previous two, in reality it turned out to be weaker. It can be defeated in a natural way, but in this guide, I will tell you some tricks that will significantly increase your chances. So first we have to prepare for the battle. Preparation is the most important part of fighting any boss in the game small end. Take it seriously, and you will yawn from boredom during any boss fight in this game. First and foremost, you should create the strongest bone armor set available at this stage of the game to withstand more damage. When given the quest to kill the Black Hornet, Nock will mention that Mermek lives nearby and can create decent armor that will be useful in battle. Be sure to create this bone armor to move on to the next stage of preparation. In the text guide linked in the pinned comment, you will find a list of all the necessary resources for crafting. After that, you should create an iron weapon. Iron weapons are significantly stronger than flint weapons, ensuring an easy victory. However, to craft them, some effort is required. By this point in the game, players have access to a furnace for crafting charcoal and iron ingots. To unlock iron weapons, you must build a furnace and smelt at least one ingot. After that, the forge becomes available for building, which is used to craft iron weapons. To build a forge, you will need five clay mortal, which are created in the windmill from two clay and one bug's lymph. The problem is that clay can only be found in the ruins at the other end of the map. However, since we are cunning, we can go there right now. On the map on your screen, you can see the optimal route for crossing the land. If something changes in future versions of the game, you can still reach it with the help of a grasshopper. Clay deposits look like dark brown lumps stuck to vertical surfaces, which can be mined with a pickaxe. But be careful, the ruins are home to fairly strong mobs that will hinder you. Collect the required amount and return to your great tree to build the forge. All further necessary resources can easily be obtained in the Black Hornet's habitat. As a result, you will be one step ahead, and defeating the Black Hornet will be much easier. However, if you are too lazy to do this, you can skip this stage. After all, as you will soon see, the boss is quite weak and does not pose a serious threat to the player. The Black Hornet has strong resistance to poison and light resistance to edged damage, so it is best to defeat her with blunt or piercing weapons, bows, spears, hammers, clubs. The boss's attacks inflict strong poison on the player, so it is also recommended to bring poison antidote and poison resistance brew, which are created at the apothecary table. And of course you should have several health elixirs for healing during battle and one stamina tonic to increase maximum stamina and its regeneration rate. Unlike previous small and bosses, the Black Hornet has three attacks. First attack, tries to sting the player with its stinger. This attack has no preparation, and you need to dodge it like similar attacks from regular hornets. Second attack, stings the player with a horizontal swing of its stinger. This attack has a short preparation and deals more damage than the previous one. It's also relatively easy to dodge with a roll. Third attack, Black Hornet hovers in the air for a few seconds, then charges at the player at full speed, raising dust clouds to ram them with the weight of its body. This attack has a very long preparation. The secret to success is to dodge precisely when the boss is already flying towards you and is almost next to the character. Dodging too early won't help, as Black Hornet can adjust the direction of its charge during its preparation. As mentioned earlier, Black Hornet's attacks poison the player, so it's important to use Poison Resistance Brew before the battle and keep Poison Antidote ready. Before entering the battle, be sure to place a bed to have a respawn point nearby. It's best to place the bed on the road sign leaning against the roof of the structure. You can install a foundation and place the bed on top or even build a small outpost if you wish. You should also be aware of the return and escaping from unpunished attacks mechanics. 
black hornet can move away from its habitat for a limited distance. The aforementioned road sign is the point where the boss can no longer reach the player. If the boss ends up there during the battle, the return will be activated, and it will slowly fly back. During this time, you can freely shoot Black Hornet with a bow. If the player tries to shoot the boss while staying outside its reach, the boss will try to hide by flying out of the player's sight. However, you can use the road sign to exit the battle if the boss proves to be too strong. If you somehow manage to corner the boss under the roof and find yourself on top, it will be completely defenseless and unable to attack you in return. If you want to defeat the boss the natural way without all these tricks, you just need to learn to dodge its attacks and use health elixir in time. With a little practice, the boss will become so easy for you that you will laugh at its futile attempts to attack you. After defeating Black Hornet, don't forget to pick up the sapphire wings and deliver them to Nock. As a reward, you will gain the ability to craft the Iron Wing Armor Set, which is currently the best in the game. The Iron Wing Breastplate has wings from the defeated Black Hornet, allowing you to glide in the air. Nock will also give you the next quest. She will send you to the Southern Ruins, where the last boss of Small and awaits you. The next boss will be even easier, so you shouldn't worry too much about it. That's all from me. Don't forget to like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and good luck.